Hello, basketball fans. You You've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. Also joining us from the sidelines, David Aldridge. We've got the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Chicago Bulls. And checking out Minnesota's opening lineup. The wings set for him, Edwards and McDaniels. Towns and Gobert hold down the post for him. And it's Conley in at the point guard. And there's the pass to Towns. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Now Towns has said he believes he's the greatest shooting big ever. That's how confident he is. And then outside. Back to Pippen. In the corner, it's Rodman. Six to shoot. Rodman sets the screen for Jordan. And Rodman with the basket on the assist from Michael Jordan. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a score like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. Now here's Towns. And the layup's good off the glass. Towns has got five now. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. And so Edwards will bring it up for Minnesota. Passes it to Conley. Back to Edwards. There's the three. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Here's Harper. Pass to Jordan. Rodman outside. Back to Jordan. Gobert with the block. Wow, insanely tough to get a shot off when Rudy Gobert is around. Wow. Pass to Towns. Back to Conley. Puts up a three, bangs home the trifecta. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. If you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. There's the pass to Jordan. The feed to Pippen. The kick out to Harper. Just five on the clock. Here's Rodman, second chance shot, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on Rudy Gobert. And as a free throw shooter, Rodman has his challenges. One of those guys who almost shoots a better percentage from the field. This is his first free throw of the game. Shooting two. He misses the free throw. Can't make the second free throw either. Listen both. And it's blocked by Jordan. And one of the league's most effective shot blockers from that guard position. Jordan can do it in help defense or on the ball. Now, here is Jordan. Feeds to Harper. Outside Pippen. Takes the three. That falls. Nice feed that time from Harper. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. Over to the wing. Towns against Rodman. Well, making sure you get the shot opportunity through contact. Carl Anthony Towns goes to the free throw line. The Timberwolves shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. And, and their free throw percentage as a unit last year, 76%, right around the middle of the road. Oh. 
The free throw drops for Towns. Well, you love watching Carl Anthony Towns play, guys, because this is an offensively gifted big man. Can shoot with range. You can put him in the post, let him work back to the basket. He can put the ball on the floor. A lot to love on the offensive end. Now here's Rob. To the inside. Jordan can't get it to go. And so Conley will bring the ball up for Minnesota. It's a three-point game. Edwards looking it over. Over Jordan. Edwards, that's good. Edwards well covered on the interior. Scores through the contest. With the step back. Pulls up, high post, and he gets the jumper to drop. Pippen's got five now. Timberwolves leading by three. Now Edwards. Outside, Towns. And again, Minnesota with the triple. Carl Anthony Towns, such a great jump shooter, doesn't take him any time to get set up. And now the first time timeout, timeout called here for the Bulls. Guard to the wing. Only with it. Still yet to score. Back to Harper. Only a screen on cover. Down to five on the shot clock. Only can't get it to go. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Conley sets a screen for Edwards. And green. looks like the wings. illegal pick was that set. Way. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Now, here is Jordan. Drains it from 17 feet out. And that time, the screener rolls, and... Jordan has room to get the shot he wants, makes a good decision to keep that one himself. Conley against Harper. It's Edwards on the wing. Inside. Gobert down low. Longley on him. And Gobert gets to Conley. Three-pointer. The shot. No good. Pressured that shot by getting a hand up just as good as a block. And he did it without fouling, and that's become an art. Changing shots without making contact. The shot's good from Jordan. And when 
we think about the excitement that Jordan brings to the game, but, but what about the offensive fundamentals? The, the, the man is a perfectionist. Now here is Conley. Passes it to Towns. He kicks it to Edwards. The nine-foot shot, and the shot is long. Just strong work defensively there in the low post. You got to be tough down in the paint. Boy, he really anchors well on the block. Very difficult to back down. Here's Jordan. He's got six. Outside Harper. Over Conley. And the Bulls tack on two more. Now here is Conley. Pass to Towns. Over Rodman. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Well, this is how you shut him down. A tremendous contest against a very skilled player. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Longley passes to Jordan. It's stolen by Edwards. And Edwards with a clear path to the basket. And finished off by Edwards. Oh, Anthony Edwards thinks this game is a dunk contest. Go ahead, young sir. What a finish. Chicago trailing here. Chicago time out, calls timeout. Time out. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. He's checked in for Michael Jordan. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Anderson's checked in. Upside Pippen. Over Edwards. The rebound by Anderson. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. High post, Gobert. Longley on him. And Gobert kicks to Anderson. Six on the shot clock. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Dennis Rodman picks one up. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. Absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long-range shot here early on. And the other thing I love, how they're making the extra pass. They're not settling for the first shot. They're going from good to great. First one falls for him. Some changes for Chicago. Wennington, he's checked in for Longley. Simpkins comes in for Dennis Rodman. And Kerr is subbed in for Harper. And then for Minnesota. Nas Reed, he's checked in for Gobert. Alexander Walker comes in for McDaniels. And Morris subbed in for Mike Conley. And both free throws good for Anderson. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Trailing by four. Kerr outside. Pass to Kukoc. Back to Kerr. Five to shoot. Here's Pippen. Down it goes. His third basket. He's now three for four. And offensively right now, each team getting what it wants. Yeah, this is already a high-scoring game, but we knew that was a possibility coming into this one. Now, here is Morris. The pass to Alexander Walker. The shot's good on the assist by Morris. And the Timberwolves lead by five. I tell you, the moment he sees the open man, Monte Morris lets it go. Pippen kicks to Kerr. 
Pippen against Edwards. The 17 footer. Stolen by Reed. And now the Timberwolves on the break. Goes up. The big dunk at the end of the break. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the emphatic stuff. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Covington, no good. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Into the lane, and he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. Well, unselfish play by Anthony Edwards. Teammate is wide open. He puts it right where it needs to be. And here is Morris. Scoreless thus far. Pass to Reed, kicks to Edwards. For the three. Rebounded by Wellington. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Pippen against Edwards. Right side, Pippen. Back to Kerr. To end the run. And that's good. Scotty Pippen for three. Pippen's got 10 points. Practically automatic shot there by Pippen. He, he knows he just needs the ball, and, and he is good to go. Here is Edwards from deep. Trains the three-pointer. He's got seven. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Now here's Kukoc. One oh six left to play here in the first. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And you want to talk about difficult guys to match up with. Tony Kukoc at 6'11", can shoot it, handle it. I mean, how do you guard it? Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Kukoc. And the Croatian swingman Kukoc, a valuable, multifaceted player who can do a little bit of everything. Michael Jordan is checked in for the Bulls. Minnesota also with the sub. Towns, he's checked in for Edwards. Kuko checks them both. So it's the Timberwolves now. They lead by seven. Pass to Alexander Walker. Now Towns with the fadeaway. And there's another one for the Timberwolves. Uh, Carl Anthony Towns will mix his spots as a scorer, that time doing work inside. Kerr the pass to Simpkins. Jordan with it. Kerr outside. Jordan with it. Guarded now by Morris. Shot clock at six. Back to Jordan. Over Morris. And again, Chicago. No good. Minnesota with the ball. They're on a 16-7 run. Down low. Here's Towns. And Towns throws it down. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. And as the first quarter wraps up, already a double-digit lead. Timberwolves lead by 11. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter.
And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And a comfortable margin for the Timberwolves here, guys. Well, they used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. And we know this. Every team in the league now seems to be looking to play with pace. Minnesota with the ball. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. So with Rodman on the bench, this is Phil Jackson's lineup. Kerr out there with Michael Jordan. Then it's Simpkins. Then it's Kukoc. And it's Runnington in at the center, filling out the middle. Right on the bucket. Well, Monte Morris goes to that floater. Such an important weapon. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Timberwolves have gone twin towers with Carl Anthony Towns and Rudy Gobert. Gobert says, I love playing with another dominant big because I've always thought that I could pass. I know that I can make guys around me better. Cat says, we complement each other. He's a generational talent on defense, and I think I'm a generational talent on offense. Kevin, I'm a generational talent on sideline report. <laughs> you are indeed, and that's why you are in Springfield. No argument here, David, thank you. Boy, this guy has been on a mission. Carl Anthony Towns will not be denied on the offensive end of the floor. Anderson against Kukoc. Lock at six. Jordan, that's for two. And a great assist by Kukoc as that one goes in. Yeah, and what you love about Kukoc, the versatility on offense and the terrific court vision. Outside, Towns. And the three off target. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Kukoc against Anderson. Kukoc pass to Wennington. Count it. Wennington's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for Chicago. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Outside, Towns. Pass to Reed. The Timberwolves working the ball around them. The pass to Towns. Puts it up from seven. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Well, he's got moves and counter moves inside. Towns makes the defender pick his poison. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And the first one at the line is good. Some changes for Chicago. Edwards comes in for Wennington. And it's Sally in for Simpkins. And town drops them both. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. Kerr kicks to Jordan. Right there. Morris against Kerr. And it's Monte Morris with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Some changes for Chicago. Wennington is checked in for Edwards. And Bushler subbed in for Sally. Kerr, the pass to Jordan. Five on the clock. And it's Chicago scoring again. It's graceful. There's a level of dignity that Jordan has on the floor. Just so classy about everything he does. Passes to Reed beyond the arc. Rebound by the Bulls. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Not watching the line violation. there. That'll be a backcourt violation. And to make that mistake at this time is tough. 
to come back from. These are the kinds of plays that can be game changers, that can make you hang your head. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Luke Longley's checked in for Wennington, and it's Harper in for Bushman. Timberwolves also changing it up. Rudy Gobert comes in for Nas Reed, and Mike Conley subbed in for Morris. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It goes on Kyle Anderson. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars, Jordan makes the players around him better, mentally, in terms of effort, and in terms of their performance. And so Jordan nails both of them. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Conley up top. He's guarded by Harper. Conley surveying the D. Towns kicks to Anderson. Just five to shoot. Conley with the three. It's rebounded by Jordan. Bulls trail by seven. Kicks it out to Kerr. Back to Harper. Pass to Longley. With some arc, it doesn't go for him. Gobert with the defensive effort. Anderson outside. Pass to Alexander Walker. Towns against Kukoc. Towns, the best to Conley. Towns sets the pick for Conley. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Conley's gone just one of four from deep. Kerr kicks to Jordan. Now the pass to Longley. To the middle. And you look at Kerr, just the sharp shooting role player. His game really about guts and intelligence. The Bulls shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. Steve Kerr. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Monte Morris is checked in for Nikhil Alexander Walker. drops both of them. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line, and boy, has his stroke been on the money. Morris outside. To the left wing. Here's Towns. The Timberwolves again can't hit. And the fadeaway was the only option he had on that one. Defender there all over. Over to the left wing. Michael Jordan on the wing. He's covered by Anderson, and he makes that one. Jordan's got 16. And no one has better natural scoring tools. But, but another thing that really sets MJ apart, the acute instincts he brings to the table. Towns is double. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Towns has got 20. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Harper kicks to Kerr. And there's the feed to Jordan. Over Anderson. A shot by Jordan, no good. Minnesota leading by five. This is it to Conley. To the wing on the left. Towns is double. A three from Anderson. Good, and the assist goes to Towns. He has five. That's a great feed by Cat. Those assist numbers have improved big time over the years. Harper kicks to Kukoc. Longley against Gobert. Jordan with the bucket. Now Conley. 
Gobert with a screen on Harper. Oh, the lob to Gobert. And finished off by Gobert. Well, spectacular athleticism from the seven-foot center Gobert. Wow. Jordan kicks to Kerr. Here's Longley. Back to Kerr. Three-pointer. And they recover it. Wow, you don't see him left alone very often. And, of course, he makes good use of it. Minnesota leading by six. Pass to Towns. Towns is doubled. Back to Conley. Anderson outside. Let's it go with a three. And again, Minnesota with the triple. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Pass to Harper. Over Conley. Another one falls for Chicago. So the Timberwolves call their first timeout. Timberwolves. in for Chicago. Pippen comes in for Steve Kerr. Minnesota also making some changes. Reed, he's checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. McDaniels comes in for Kyle Anderson. And Anthony Edwards subbed in for Morris. Chicago foul. Ron Harper. First personal foul. Second team foul. Reed on the inbound. Oh, awesome defense. Rodman moving his feet incredibly strong for his size and just does a great job of getting into the head of the opponent. Harper the pass to Pippen. Outside Kukoc. Here's Rodman. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Gobert's got six rebounds here tonight. McDaniels gets to Conley. Hey, yo, yo, right here, right here. Timberwolves passing it around. Uh, it's Edwards on the wing. Defended by Pippen. Reed gets the bucket. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Here's Pippen, and he gets it to go. Pippen's got 12. Contact doesn't phase Pippen. Still able to get that one to go. Gobert with a screen for Edwards. Oh, good with the triple. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Minnesota leading by 11. He dishes it to Conley. Six to shoot. To the paint. And so the ball out of bounds. Gobert touched it last. A perfect example of why good hands are important in basketball. Just misread that pass completely. And the Bulls making a change here. Kerr's checked in. Here is Kerr. The pass to Longley. Now Harper. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Michael Conley. That's foul number two for him. Fourth team foul. Conley 
against Harper, and the call is going to be yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable, it creates that much of an advantage for the offense. You have to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. And the Bulls making a change here. Two coaches check in. Bulls trail by 11. And the lead is down inside single digits. He is smooth with it. Kukoc can knock him down. Edwards against Kirk. Edwards kicks to Reed. Back to Edwards. Six on the shot clock. And here's Conley outside. Chicago grabs the miss. No idea why he's attempting so many outside shots. It's not his day, and he needs to either look to drive or get into an open teammate. Timberwolves leading by seven. Edwards with it. He's got ten. 124 left in the second quarter. Just four to shoot. To end the drought. That misses off the backboard. Edwards gotten only four of his 11 shots to fall here so far. The kick out to Harper. Pippen outside. Gobert against Longley. Shot from 12. That shot no good. Gobert with the defensive effort. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for Minnesota. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Pass to McDaniels. Here's Reed. Lays it up off the glass. Reed's got seven. Well, great possession there. Anytime you end up at the rim with a high percentage look, perfect. Pippen kicks to Hart. Kerr against Edwards. To the middle. Here's Longley. It's hauled in by Edwards. McDaniels in the post. Guarded by Pippen. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. One on Pippen. Really uh, the right play defensively if you can't block, force him to the line. For Minnesota, they have made all of their free throws so far tonight going six for six. Free throw drops from McDaniel. And the Timberwolves making a change here. He doesn't get the second one. Here's Harper, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's his first trip to the line. Team foul at the line for Chicago, Ron Harper. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. No luck that time either. And so it's Minnesota with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. Back right after this.
And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. Earl Anthony Towns has been sensational. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. One of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, Conley is the point. Edwards plays on the wing. The two towering figures inside for him, Towns and Gobert. And it's McDaniels in at the three. Harper dishes to Jordan. Lays it up and banks it in. Jordan's got the first basket of the third quarter for Chicago. And not much else you can do. I mean, defensively, you try to make it hard on Jordan without fouling, but he's just too dialed in. Edwards against Jordan. Shot clock at six. That's green. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. That way, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. I've been passing to Longley. Pick it up, pick it up. The shot from the low post is good. Timberwolves leading by six. Pass to Gobert. Gobert with a screen on Jordan. Back to Gobert and stolen by Longley. Outside Jordan. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. And the rejection by Towns. Edwards gets to Conley. Has to Gobert. To the left side wing. And the pass to Towns. Conley with it. Jacks up a three. Rodman grabs the rebound. Rodman's got rebound number five here tonight. Harper the pass to Pippen. Now here's Longley. Passes to Pippen. And that comes off the assist by Longley. Longley's got three assists now in this one. Jordan against Edwards. Gobert with a screen on Jordan. And he gets the bucket. That's 12 points for Anthony Edwards. Well, in pick and roll action, you've got to be aggressive as a scorer. Anthony Edwards with the bucket. Pippen outside. Rodman passes to Jordan. Jordan is double. And here's Harper from the arc. A three-pointer is right on target. Harper's got seven. Well, the defense daring him to shoot, and he makes them pay for their disrespect. To the right side. Here's Towns. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Clearly a foul. For Minnesota, they have been coming through at the charity strip. They've made seven of their eight attempts. Taking two shots. Shoot two. And he knocks down the first one. And it's been an outstanding game for them at the free throw line. Not missing their chances when they get them. Kukoc, he's checked in for Chicago. Town drops them both. And Chicago has possession. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Rudy Gobert is a fierce competitor. He says the average fan might not understand what I bring to the table, but the GMs in the league do. I want to be the best defensive player of all time. I want to be a force, and I want to win championships. I've got to set the tone every night. Kevin? And he does. He is a stopper, no doubt about it. David, thank you. One shot. Oh, 
And the free throw, no good. Well, Anthony Edwards has the kind of frame and skill set that can make him a force. But it all comes down to paying the price of putting in the work now. Feeling it. No doubt about it. He's definitely feeling it right now. Shooting a terrific percentage from the field. Conley dishes to Gobert. to Towns. Gobert with a screen on Kukic. Back to Gobert. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Longley. And here we go. Here's Kukoc. And the rejection by Towns. Outstanding anticipation from Cat right there. He sends that thing back to another zip code. Back to Edwards. And Gobert kicks to Edwards. Pass to McDaniels. Shoots over Harper. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Bulls trail by four. Pippen, the pass to Harper. And here's Longley. Here's the pass to Jordan. Pippen outside. Here's Kukoc. Gobert pulls it in. Gobert's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Edwards against Pippen. Here's Gobert, and that one drops. Gobert's got his second bucket. Well, you know the length of Rudy Gobert. He's virtually unstoppable in that restricted area. Harper kicks to Kukoc. Now here's Longley. Passes it to Jordan. And that comes off the assist by Longley. Longley's got his fourth assist in this one. And here's Conley outside Edwards. Left side, Towns. Has to go bare. Towns a screen on Pippen. McDaniels passes to Towns. That one doesn't go. Kukoc with the defensive effort. Bulls trail by four. It's Pippen with the drive. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. McDaniels dishes to Conley. He feeds it to Towns. Basket number eight is all good. He's attempted 12 shots. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Timberwolves. They made a point to protect the rim, challenging shots all game long, and the block total is off the charts. And their fast break has also been a key metric in this one. They have had a significant advantage in transition over the course of this game. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Anderson, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. For the Timberwolves. Number one, Kyle Anderson. Pass to Harper. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Lock at six. Back to Jordan. 17-foot shot on the way. And again, Chicago. No good. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for Minnesota. The pass to Anderson. Towns against Kukoc. Towns kicks to Conley. Over Harper. Out to Edwards. And the three ball is good. Edwards got 17 now. Well, Anthony Edwards has proven to be capable from any spot on the floor. That time he hits you with the three-point shot. Okay, Anthony. Pippen finds Jordan. Over Edwards. Here's Longley. Back to Jordan. Passes it to Pippen. And again, no good by Chicago. Timberwolves leading by nine. Has to go back. Here's Towns. With it by Kukoc. Towns is double. Edwards with the screen for Conley. And again, Minnesota with the triple. Well, you've got to be able to contest. This is a career 37% three-point shooter. You better get out there on Mike Conley. Outside, Kukoc. Longley against Gobert. Jordan high post. 
plenty of room to knock down the shot. Jordan's got nine points here in the second half. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Anderson with the screen for Gobert. Here's Towns. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. The Timberwolves shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. The free throw drops for Towns. Wennington, he's checked in for Luke Long. Reed, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Bulls trail by 11. Kukoc pass to Jordan. And they double up Jordan. Harper. Minnesota with the rebound. Edwards got six rebounds now in the game. And Anderson kicks to Towns. Outside Edwards. Stolen by Pippen. And now here's Pippen with the fast break chance. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. That one is on Towns. His agility makes Pippen so dangerous inside. He can create contact while also being able to get the shot off. And the first one drops. And maximum effort. That's what you see from Scottie Pippen game after game. He looks for ways to affect the game every minute. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Alexander Walker's checked in. And both free throws good for Pippen. Minnesota leading by nine. Here is Edwards. 17 points in the game. Pass to Reed. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Outside, Jordan. At three off the mark. So it's the Timberwolves now. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Alexander Walker passes to come. Inside. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Conley's got eight. Well, if you give Mike Conley any kind of position on the interior, he is just crafty enough to finish it. Outside Harper. And there's the pass to Jordan. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Jordan's got 11 points here in just the second half. And there are nights it really doesn't matter what you do defensively. MJ is going to score, and this is looking like one of those nights. Edwards kicks to Reed. A three from Anderson. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Conley's got six assists now in the game. Such a boost to this offense when this guy can knock down uncontested threes. Pippen down low. He's got 18. Minnesota with the rebound. Here's Alexander Walker. He kicks to Conley. Let's go. Rebound by the Bulls. Jordan's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Banked in off the glass. Jordan's got 33 points. And you can just see the extraordinary competitiveness. MJ staying laser focused after absorbing the contact. Here's Alexander Walker. Defended by Pippen. 
the big guy attacking the rim. The throwdowns are loud and emphatic. Fifty-nine seconds left to play in the third. Outside, Kukoc hits the three-point bomb. Kukoc has got it back down to single digits for the Bulls. Love the assertiveness from Kukoc. A valuable offensive weapon for this team. Back to Conley, and the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Conley's got ten points. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Well, he's attacking, he's forcing the issue, and that's simply stated a terrific play. Here's Jordan. No good on the shot. Great tee that time from Edwards. Anderson dishes to Conley. This is a do Alexander Walker. Here's the three. Cans it from downtown. Walker. Alexander Walker's got the lead up to 14 now for Minnesota. Harper against Conley. Pass to Wennington. That shot is off. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. With the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And here's Jordan. He'll bring it up for Chicago. It's a 14-point game. So with Rodman on the bench, this is Phil Jackson's lineup. Jordan is out there with Kerr. Then there's Bill Wennington. Then it's Simpkins. And it's Kukoc in at the three slot. Here's Alexander Walker. Shoots the three. The rebound by Kirk. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Yeah, it's like he just keeps going up and up. Limitless vertical for MJ. Anderson against Kukoc. Pass to Reed. Takes a three. Rebound by the Bulls. Kukoc has got six rebounds now in the game. The pass to Simpkins. Bulls moving the ball around. Here's Wennington. Parted by Reed. Shot from the top of the key. Count that one. And the Timberwolf lead has been cut down now to just eight on the basket from Jordan. Yeah, nice timing there on that catch and shoot. Jordan with such a musical rhythm to his game. Passes to Alexander Walker. Count it. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. And it is a major disadvantage down the stretch if you can't guard. This may just come down to who has the ball last. Wennington passes to Jordan. Simpkins. A tip in on the offensive rebound. Simpkins got his first points of the game. Well, hard blue collar work ethic on display. This guy just beating everyone to the ball. Down low, here's Towns. The rebound by Simpkins. Bulls trail by eight. Kerr kicks to Jordan. A crossover. 
There's Huntington. That one falls. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Probably the most important thing is they regroup. They worked out some of their frustrations, and now they're starting to have some fun. A shot by Alexander Walker, no good. Here's Chicago. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. Morris against Kerr. Here's Wennington. Shot clock at five. Pulls from the top of the key. Jordan's shot is off. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. I think expect them to go back to it because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate. And, and that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Pass to Kukoc. Outside Jordan. Pass to Kerr. Good, and it's Jordan picking up the assist. And they have gotten themselves back into this game just in the nick of time. If that one had come any later, it would have been Katie bar the door. They're <laughs> showing so much passion and determination here at the end. They're close to the lead, but still have plenty of work left to do. Bulls trail by eight. Jordan looking it over. To the inside. Wennington with the bucket. Coming off the pick, Jordan often takes this himself, crosses the D up that time. Now Morris. Now the pass to Alexander Walker. Traps in the tray. And the Timberwolves lead by nine. Boy, nice stroke from downtown. Got it off just before the defense could react. That's his specialty. And Jordan throws it down. And you can tell Kerr has a good sense for the floor, which helps him find a ready shooter to deliver the ball to. Morris passes to Reed. Here's Alexander Walker. And again, Minnesota with the triple. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Jordan's shot is off. And this is exactly what you have to do to stop him. That was a tremendous contest, forcing the miss. Here's Towns, and the dunk by Towns. Boy, when these bigs like Carl Anthony Towns show off that power, you've got to love it. Morris against Kerr. Jordan is doubled. Pass to Simpkins. Now Kukoc. Here's Simpkins. With the teardrop, and he sinks the layup. Simpkins got four points now in the quarter. Oh, such a field shot there, the floater. Anderson against Kukoc. Anderson outside. Pass to Towns. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. And here's Morris for three. Kukoc grabs the miss. Kukoc has got rebound number eight now on the night. Kicks it to Jordan. Goes up the baseline. It's Chicago with another bucket. It's just amazing the hang time. Jordan gets he, even on a simple jumper. And the Timberwolves time call time. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Luke Longley's checked in for Wennington. Rodman comes in for Simpkins. Pippen's checked in for Tony Kukoc. And it's Harper in for Steve Kerr. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Rudy Gobert, he's checked in for Reed. McDaniels comes in for Kyle Anderson. Edwards has come in for Alexander Walker. And it's Conley in for Monte Morris. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Hey, guys, I listened in on what Chris Finch was talking about with his players. He told his players, I love the energy right now. You look like you're having fun out there. 
keep playing for each other because our chemistry looks great right now. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Towns sets the pick for Edwards. It's hauled in by Longley. Longley's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Harper the pass to Pippen. And it's Rodman, top of the key. And they double up Jordan. The tray. Rodman's shot is off. Timberwolves leading by eight. McDaniels gets to Conley. It's Edwards on the wing. From 13, he squares up and sinks it. Edwards got nine points here in the second half. Anthony Edwards just reading what the defense giving up. Gets to his mid-range game right there. On the wing, Jordan. Edwards defended. And Dennis Rodman with the slam. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. Count that one. That's 29 points for Carl Anthony Towns. Well, if you want to pinpoint one thing about Mike Conley, it's his feel for the game. That's a pretty pass. Jordan passes to Rodman. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Outside Conley. Pass to Towns. Rodman with the defensive effort. Bulls trail by 10. Pippen outside. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Uh, and I like what the defense is thinking here, but Pippen gets physical inside and insists on getting to his shot. Team foul. At the line for your goals, Scotty Pippen. Free throw good from Pippen. And it's Conley with the ball for the Timberwolves. They lead by seven. Left side, Towns. Back to Conley. Outside, Towns. And he drives in. An easy two points on the layup. Towns has got 31. Oh, takes the hit, stays locked in, eyes on the glass. Tremendous concentration by Towns. The pass to Harper lets the three fly. Minnesota with the rebound. Nick Daniels with the ball. Passes it to Towns. This is to Conley. Towns is double, and he's going up for the alley hoop. Knocked away. Jordan inside for by Conley, and then slammed in by Jordan. You won't find a much more entertaining sight. I call that slam dunk contest level. Timberwolves passing it around. Conley shot is off. Bulls trail by seven. Now here's Harper. A special move before the shot. I enjoy watching Harper as he fends off the contact. Awesome at just finding those little cracks in the defense and exploiting them. Downs down low. I've been on him. And here's Gobert. Shot clock at three. McDaniels kicks to Edwards. And here we go. Fast break. Jordan's got it. Here's Pippen. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert's got rebound number 13 with that last one. Outside Conley, pass to Towns. 
Nick Daniels with the ball. Good and his this goes to Towns. Towns has got four assists in the game. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc. A key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection. Swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. 112 left in the fourth. Outside Conley. Pass to Towns. Outside Edwards. A three. Rodman grabs the miss. That is fantastic defense on one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Didn't give him an inch of room. This is a big-time game for Scotty offensively thus far. He's setting a high bar for the rest of the guys on that. The pass to McDaniels. And so they foul intentionally. Second person in foul. First team foul. Forty-three seconds left in the fourth quarter. Edwards drawing the double team. Out left to the wing. Six to shoot. And he commits the intentional foul. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Good on the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Rudy Gobert, throughout his career, has done two things. Double-double threat. He's going to rebound it consistently and play great defense. That rim protection is real. And he is unable to get the second one. And here are the Bulls now. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Count it! Boy, I, I'll tell you, there's an art to doing this. What's amazing is how often Jordan hits the clutch shot. And so they choose to intentionally foul. the first and that increases their lead to six. I think Mike Conley historically will always be part of the grit and grind mentality where he spent his career in Memphis but this guy's skill set allows him to fit in with any organization. You no know, mistakes there good free throws to give them just a little bit more cushion. Time called here the Bulls decide to talk it over they trail by seven there's 25 seconds left to play here in the fourth
here's Jordan. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Yes! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Yeah, high percentage look for Jordan. It has every move you could ask for in the painted area. And now we've got the intentional foul. Second personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for the Timberwolves. Edwards. Two shots. Shooting two. He hits the first one, and that increases their lead to six. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's a seven-point game. Chicago calls timeout. They're trailing by seven. 20 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Pippen outside. Rodman outside. Jordan outside. Nails the train! And wasn't really a long distance shooter in college. Jordan really worked on his range ever since being drafted. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. Hey, you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. He drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. And so both free throws are good, and it's a six-point ball game. Well, you love a guy who gets himself to the line, takes his time, and makes the free throws. Complete professional. Time out, time out. And the Timberwolves call time. They are leading by three. Just two seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And they need to stop the clock, so there's a foul. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreak. People are holding their breath a little, wondering if Edwards can take care of business here. So it's Minnesota taking the W in a close one. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg. They really had to work for this win. And that's a good point. I mean, well, weaker teams might have buckled at the end with the crowd amped up, everyone in the building kind of rooting against you. But they stood tall and pulled it out. Well said. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in.